Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm going to do a general love reading, but this is going to be like directly for my Capricorns because I just checked like some of my messages. And a lot of you guys asked me to do a love reading, just a general love reading. So I'm going to do a love reading for you. And um, then I had a couple of you ask me about like, um, do I see somebody coming into your life for you to have, you know, romantic encounters? Basically, listen, this is what I feel for my Capricorns. Like, far as us being an earth sign and how we are, we like real, 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 like iffy when it comes to certain people we want to give our sexual pleasures to. And I seem, well, I'll say we seem to have like boundaries. Even though when you have sexual relationships, there's supposed to be no boundaries. You're supposed to let loose, let go, and be free. But us as earth signs, we can't just be free with anyone or any person or even like some past people. It's hard for us. Our body don't function right when we don't have a connection with that person. No matter if it's a one night stand or not. And that's what I learned from myself far as sexual encounters and connections. If I'm not feeling you in a certain way, I can't have sex with you. It's just, I just can't. And even money evolved. I have to have some connection. You have to be able to make me, you have to be able to turn me on without sex beforehand. If I never messed with you in that way, it got to be something that make me click. It got to be something, even if it's got to be alcohol. But see, and I had situations where I was drunk as hell and I was like, I'm not messing with you. Like, it's just, we just different. Like, our vaginas, our penis don't get hard and wet for just anything. Like, a big penis fat behind is not enough for us at most of the time. We're wrecked. Like, we got to, it got to be something that's attracting us to you or you to us. And we get the f mutual going back and forth. So, like, far as sexual chemistry for us, like, I know, like, for the sexual chemistry, your base chakra, which is called your root chakra, which is your vagina and your um, penis, needs to be open. And a lot of us, ours is shut. Like, right now, like... Mind is basically shut. Now, the right person could probably get me back on balance. And not talking a sexual way, but it's just some people that tends that, that you know that you click when you get near them. Like, okay, I was with a Taurus, for example, for all my life. And, like, I was in the same room with him and, like, close with him. And it was a turn off. When they tried to um, seduce me sexually and pull out their penis to me, it kind of made me sick. Maybe because I know that person was being intimate with so many other people. Or it could just be the time ran out. I'm not really sure. And I think they felt that vibe. Like, I can't connect with you no more. Like, I like somebody, me, as far as a Capricorn. I don't know how other Capricorns. I like something that I can mess around with and have fun with. Uh, I don't like something that is just dry. <coughs> Excuse me, bland. And a waste of a non-orgasm that I'm going to have. Like, Taurus is, yeah, they saw, but Taurus is the ones that I had. Taurus is, is not really big creatures like that. They're just, uh, they just got a sexual aroma over them, but they not real big creatures like that in that aspect. I hope just some Tauruses don't get mad. I'm saying this, but you know yourself and you know you're not. Um, so that's kind of what it is, but I don't like real big creatures because I'm a small person when it comes to my personal body. So it's like, it kind of resonates it, like sometimes on the different person. But for me right now, listen, I know what signs I need. If I want something that's real crazy or I want something that's, that's okay. I am an oral person, honestly. Oral makes me have orgasm quicker than any penis could ever do. And if you're not good with oral, it turns me off. I'm gonna have to. I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna have to, but it makes me cheat on you. So like, with me and most men, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm up in the air. And me personally, I just sell the divine to bring me somebody that could like feel me 
up completely. Like, I like somebody that can really, they know what to do with breasts and things like that. Like, I need to be stimulated besides a penis touching me. If you can't stimulate my, my body, like certain parts of me, it ain't going to work between me and you. Like, if your touch can't make me jump, it just don't work. So, I'm going to do a love read real quick. And um, just see what the love cards come up. I was going to open my um regular ones, but I just don't feel like opening them. I'm just going to take a few love cards, and I'm just going to give you a clear read from um the divine. Like, whatever comes to my heart to express to you and i'm gonna just take a few cards i'm gonna take about 10 cards five to ten cards and just let them come out and then i'm not gonna read reversals i'm just gonna tell you what things is going on and do a clear voice energy as far as the sexual chemistry for my capricorns because it's probably a lot of us that want some type of connections sexually because we are fresh but it ain't too many people that could float our boat and that's just what it is and the ones that do float our boat they got bullshit with them so we don't even want to deal with them and that's how it is i just want all new everything i'm tired of it now i want to find somebody that understand me and not just understand me like fully like know what romance is which some people do, but they just got too much shit with them, and I can't deal with it. Like, damn, I just wish they didn't have a lot of shit with them. I just wish they kept shit real. The ones that I did like, but, and probably still do like. I'm not going to even lie, like, but they just, they got a lot going on. So, I had one, two, three, four, five, six cards that came out. I'm going to see is there anything else, universe, is there anything else that you need to say or you need me to say to my Capricorns regarding sexual feelings and, whoo, that popped out. Is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else, universe, spirit, God, holy angels, anything else my caps need to know about that sexual tendency, sexual attractions, and nothing else coming out with that. <clears throat> I'm going to take a regular oracles and see, do the divine have anything to say to my Capricorns about that sexual situations? Woo, that was a lot of cards to try to come out. Is there anything else? Okay. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Ugh, this card. Is there anything else? Okay. I'm going to leave that there and just go ahead. And I'm going to just try to read you what I feel that it's trying to say. Is all I can say. This is for my Capricorns regarding their love life. They want it like a clear guide <sighs> basically one of the cards is a coffee cup that came out for you basically about meeting and conversating and living in the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So basically, like what Coffee Cup is saying, that we got to start off as friends. Like I was telling you, we can't just open our legs. We can't just pop anything. We just can't jump on any penis or any vagina. Basically, we got to like basically start out as friends or we already know this person that we have sexual chemistry with for us to move forward in any type of love situation so basically it might be somebody already in your life that's your friend that's that's the person that you need to be having sexual encounters with is what i'm seeing and sometimes it be like that it be somebody you already know in your life that you friends with that that's who you got some sexual chemistry with that's who you need to be having sexual um relationships with maybe it's a friend already but you don't really want to take it there or it could be also a friend that you know just got too much with them and or her and maybe that's why you don't want to take that step and then you got something that says not enough 
frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Okay, what this means, not enough. Maybe you're thinking that somebody that you're dealing with wasn't enough or somebody thinking that you're not enough. Maybe you know somebody is jealous of a situation with you or maybe you're jealous of a certain situation with somebody, maybe a lover or somebody that you even want to deal with. Or it could be somebody, most of the times, Capricorns, people be jealous of us and sometimes it be our own partners that's jealous of us. They, they, they jealous of us and they have us self sabotage our own self, or also we could let our ego get in the um situation, or it could be jealousy. Um, it could be just frustrated in relationship. Like a lot of our Capricorns, we are. We just feel like it's raining on our parade because it's like, damn, this person is okay, but this person is not fulfilling this, or he not fulfilling that. I need somebody that literally could perform. Or like they never have in their fucking life. Other than that, I cannot deal with you because I'm not is I'm not being fulfilled. So it's just like, damn, when you find that person, you deal with that person, and the next thing you know, it's like it rained on your parade. So you might feel that you just not enough for somebody, or somebody may feel like that you're not enough, but it's usually you. It's your ego feel like, damn, I'm not enough for this person. That's why they doing this. Say that. No, it's not that. It's that because some people are just trifling. Some Girls were whores naturally. Some niggas are dogs naturally. That's just how it is. And not mean niggas men. Some men is just dogs. Some women is whores. It's not you. It's just that's what's in battle in them. That's what that's their life. They're just known of being whores. So don't ever think that you're not enough for somebody. That's why they doing this or they doing that. No, this is what they do. This is all they know. They're just the devil and sometimes you lay up with the devil and you take on that energy you think is you no boo it's not you it's them so that's what i get from there the sword in the rose it says clarify truth reveal solitary force honor protection and power so you might have got clarity about somebody you might have got the truth. Maybe it felt like that you was loving this person. You felt like that you was their rose. That you found out truth and clarity. You know, you felt like, you know, it felt like they had all the power over you and everything. But then it come out to be like the sword. A painful ending. Or a fucking clue for clarity of some bullshit. Like, that's just how it be sometimes. And you could get the rose and you could get the sword with somebody. It's just like you got to cut that shit off, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can't deal with that. You just got to keep it moving and then find the next person. Because that's what I'm doing. You got the heart with the key. Welcoming love. Meaning the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Heart with a kid. Somebody is going to come into your life that's meant for you. They're on their way. The divine is working on all of that. Everything is a divine time and it's not your time. It's going to be somebody that's going to love you that you're going to get a key to your heart. And it's somebody that you're going to be able to um, master all your emotions with. All your sexual needs with. Like, it's going to be somebody that it's just going to be perfect for you. And it's on its way. You just got to be patient. It's that divine timing. You have the butterfly relationship involving to the next phrase, healing the inner child growth. Capricorn, I know and you know. We have a lot of things that we have to heal inside our body before we even start new relationships, even if it wasn't a long relationship. It's just when we get hurt or we get a sore poke to us, it's like whoop. We start all over, close everything, our whole chakras from my brain down to our root chakra, which is our vagina. So, like, at the end of the day, you got to open yourself back up to love. This is me, too. Right now, I'm not saying I'm closed, but I'm definitely not looking for it. I'm definitely not looking for the games, the lies. And it doesn't even matter the age. You got people in their 40s, late 40s, middle 40s, 30s, late 30s, early 30s that act like pure newborn babies they don't know what they want in life they doing this they doing that they stuck on the past so like you got to open yourself up for me i'm doing my thing how i'm doing them but for any capricorn that's looking for love partnership relationship you're not going to get it when you shut so that's why you might need to get a chakra healing you got to open yourself up from to, to receive the love from the divine so you can receive love from others. Other than that, you're not going to get no love. And the next thing you have is paradise. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. See, it's coming like I told you. It's on its way. 
heart with a key and paradise. Listen, they is on their way. They probably already here, but your heart is shut. You don't, you're not seeing it. So you're not going to get love when your heart is shut. You're going to have to open your heart up to love if you're looking for it. Um, I know who I meant to be is probably around here somewhere, or it's probably somebody in the past. I don't know what's going on, but for me, I'm not taking no steps to be looking for love. I let love come to me, and then when it come, I'm just going to hope that I don't make another dumb decision like I just did with another Aries that was like on some nut shit. Like, really a fucking little boy in big panties, or I'll call it, matter of fact, a big boy in little girl panties. Bottom line, that's going to be the name of this video. Big boy and little girl panties. Yep, let me write this down so I don't forget, man. fact. Because I forget because I be having so much on my mind. I don't want to forget the name of the topic. Yes. So sometimes you you meet the wrong ones. And it's just, uh, you might even know them. Big boy and little girl panties. Or it could be grown man in women panties. That sound better. So it don't sound kind of nasty, Fod. I had to switch that up. Right. Okay. You got self-indulgence. Now, focus on self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Capricorns. I went through this. We all do. Don't even front. You got to focus on yourself because sometimes you self-indulge in stuff like you self-sabotage. Oh, he going to be like the last one. Oh, here he go. Remind me of the last one. I didn't go through that when the last little one I was with. I didn't say he was like the last one. So he showed completely he was like the last couple. You know what I mean? But you got to learn your self-worth. Like you're worth more than dealing with somebody that giving penis out. You're worth more than somebody that complain on. So you worth more than somebody saying they at work or you all the time. Or you worth more than somebody telling you they on their way, they don't come. Or you worth more than somebody that that, that all they got to offer is a, a big penis but don't got the work behind it. And they a liar. So, what to deal with it? Because me, I don't really like big penis like that. So, that don't turn me on. Other things turn me on about a person. I don't want somebody messing my walls up. I'm tight. I'm shut. I don't play that shit. But some women like all that. I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. That don't turn me on your big penis. Maybe big dollars or something. A big gifts. But other than that, self indulge that's what you do when things don't go your way and that's not cool i'm telling you you got to open up your chakras now i did some basic cards that came out and i'm not taking no reversals and you didn't get no reversals you got the ten of wands like you got a lot on your plate that you're dealing with you got to get your priorities in order before you could even move on to be looking for love you got to get certain steps you got the page of pentacles uh, maybe you looking toward a young person for some type of love because you lost out um, of your mother or father or something in a situation. But a young person is looking the opposite way. Remember, they're young, so they still coming up. They still got offers. They still got their life to live. So if you're trying to look for a relationship for somebody that's like way younger than you because a page is way younger than you, they got to be fully mature. Like they got a pinnacle, but remember, they are page, so their money ain't up like that. So you must be just looking for them just for sex because it can't be too much of nothing else unless they bossing like that. I'm just keeping that shit real. You also got the judgment. You're going to get judgment off of everything that you're going through because this is from the divine. This is like good luck and blessings is what I see as that is. Um, you have the hair in front of here. This may mean you need to pray more before you think about opening your heart to love or you could be dealing with, you know, a Taurus. But this usually is just open your heart to love because I'm not really going to give you signs of who these people are, you know, because it doesn't make sense because this is a love read and then it's just guidance. You also got the page of cups. You might be used to fertility. Mm, excuse my mouth. Listen, when I see this car, I think of a slippery fish. This is somebody that, you know, without water, a fish can't live, right? And they jump all around. 
you it's taking too many slippery fish risks and this could be for all capricorns like literally you is accepting friendship from people that don't deserve your friendship and the next thing you know your emotions in it and you in a bedroom and they turn out to be frauds so you got to be careful of the people that's trying to offer you friendship because you may want more than what they could offer you or they might have less than what you need you also have the eight of swords like you feel bound and tied up all the time. You feel like you can't move. You got to get out of the self-sabotage energy. Like I just told you that like self-indulge, self-sabotage. Like you're thinking about you can't move, you can't see, you feel blind. No, open your motherfucking eyes, move around. Stop feeling like you bound up and 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 stuck in a situation when you don't if you dealing with somebody that's not giving you all you need it's time to just get out that relationship and move forward and find a king that will like that's what i'm getting so this was for my capricorns like i'm gonna like giving y'all like this little guidance here because like i take what i give you to myself as well and like listen sex is great when you got the right person or somebody that's on your level but i'm learning like i have a couple people that i like sexually in a, and that like that's just uh when them off when i see the motherfuckers it's just like i'm ready to just throw my clothes all over like i i did <laughs> literally because you already know like and then some people don't don't even have to make you have an orgasm where it was though you you feel like you were ecstasy. They are the devil type people that you need to stay away from. Because if you with somebody that don't need to make you have an orgasm for you to feel like that you in a whole nother world, that's a problem. Especially if that's not your husband or somebody like that. That's somebody that's pulling your energy. Like they're on your energy, even when they're not with you. Like it's like y'all minds click no matter what. Like they know what it is, is you know what it is and i've been in situations like that that's called a karmic and that's not nothing that's good really because a karmic is like it's up one day you don't see them this it's always something and you need to get out of a karmic relationship that's like that because i think i have like a few karmics that that when i see them my clothes come off well honestly it's only one i can't even front when i see them or they come at me it's like my clothes come off it's just it's just crazy so like you got to get out of that relationship i'm laughing but you gotta stay away from that person because i try to stay away from that person but i don't know but that's called karmic and karmic is something it's like feelings that you can't explain it's just you need that sex from that person at that time or period like it's like you can't move on like you could be having sex with like multiple people and it's nothing but once you get your karmic sex it's like you like relieved because it's something that's karmic and i call it devil energy because it's like it's an addiction it's an addiction that's all it is so this is for my capricorns that ask me um uh -huh, what what do I see as far as their love life and, you know, is things coming in for them? But listen, you got to open your chakras and then you got to always watch who you trying to give as a friend. Because their emotions ain't the emotions that you want and they're not being a real friend. The next thing you know, your emotions is all everything and you in the bedroom and you like, oh, it was a waste of time. Listen, watch out who's acting like they want to be a friend. They may just want to get in your bedroom, and then when they get in your bedroom, they can't even produce the, the proper action. Like, most of these guys don't even know how to, like, move. They just got maybe a big penis, or they know how to do a one, two, three pump, or they have a sex with you, they trying to kill you because they don't know how to make love, or they don't know how to... Or they high in erect, erection problems. So they got to go ahead and be so fast and so crazy because they got problems within their self. So it's like, just be careful like who is coming into you and why. That's it. Because remember, without water, what? A fish would die, right? And they jump all around because it's like they suffocating. So they going from here, they hopping around. So watch out. You might be having a slippery fish that's hopping around. Like I know about somebody that's a karmic. And that's why I'm done with them. Because they hopping around. And like, ew. 
You don't want nothing that's 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 a fish with no water. Like that's dangerous. So this is for my Capricorns. Like, and I wish you the best. I hope you find everything that you need to find. And I hope you get love. And even not love, a lot of y'all was just talking about like romance. Like, I know what you mean, but I hope you find what you're looking for in a positive form. Peace, light, and blessings.